What are the signs that your ex might be seeing somebody else? Hi, and welcome back to Love Advice TV. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Danny, and I am one of the coaches here at the With My Ex Again Project, along with the other amazing coaches um, on this channel, Coach Abby, Coach Alex, Coach Adrian, and Coach Priyanka. Um, today, I wanted to, to talk about this subject specifically um, because it was something that came up in one of my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions recently. Um, I was working with a client, let's name her Samantha, and it had been roughly around 45 days since the breakup and she had been in a no contact period and she was concerned that her ex might be seeing somebody else, um, which would impact her chances of being able to reattract or reconcile the relationship. Now, I want to be very cautious here because one of the things that I do not like doing is, is implanting thoughts in your head because right now you are already going through enough, right? So if you are experiencing a breakup, if you are currently in a no contact period, if you are in the process of trying to reattract or reconcile with, with an ex, um, putting thoughts that may not necessarily be true in your head is not something that I would consider to be beneficial or helpful in regards to your self-esteem, your self-confidence, and your strategy in regards to trying to reattract this person. But there are some signs that your ex might be seeing somebody else. So let's say, for example, um, you've come out of a no contact period and you've been engaging with your ex for a period of time and all of a sudden the communication starts to drop off or they are not really responding to you anymore um, or you notice that they are um, setting certain things to private. Let's say they block you on certain um, channels, right? So social media channels. Um, let's also say that you've heard throughout the grapevine from uh, mutual friends that that person is, has been going on dates with people. These are all signs that it is possible they may be dating or seeing other people. Um, I usually for me, and, and this is what I want to, to recommend for you, if they are seeing somebody else, if they are dating again, they have the right to do that, right? Because you guys are not currently in a relationship. And so often it's easy for us to feel like that person is betraying us because there is still a part of you that wants that relationship with that person. There's still a part of you that is connected to the relationship that once was. And therefore, seeing them with other people or knowing that they're dating feels like a betrayal. But that is the feel that is our feelings that we have to process, right? That's your feelings that you have to process because if you allow yourself to go down that rabbit hole, all the progress that you've made up until this point can very easily vanish because you can start to get overly emotional. You could e react in irrational ways. And the truth of the matter is the whole point here is trying to reattract this person. So if you start to become needy and clingy, if you start to um, ask that person a ton of questions, then it's not benefiting you in any way, right? Let's say you're still in a no contact period and you've had no communication with this person. Um, and there's just this gut feeling that they may be saying somebody else and you want to figure out whether that's true or not. Um, usually if you notice their patterns of behavior are different in regards to how they're posting on social media, the stuff that they are posting on social media, um, if you're noticing that they're doing things that they never really used to do before, um, if you're noticing that there are there's somebody else who is taking the pictures that they are posting, um, not to say that that can't be friends that they are with, right? Because that is also also a possibility, but there are certain settings and environments that 
you know, your gut can tell you, eh, this doesn't necessarily feel right or seem right. Because at the end of the day, you know them, right? You've been in a relationship with them. You know their patterns of behavior. You know how they handle and, and deal with situations that maybe they want to keep secret or that they don't really want to share um, quite yet. Maybe it's because you've heard um, from a friend or a mutual friend that they've been dating somebody. Maybe you see them on a dating app at some point. Um, these are all, again, indications that they might be seeing somebody, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that is the case. The most important thing to take away from all of this is if they are seeing somebody, it does not mean that it's end game, right? That does not mean that your chances are completely out the window. There have been so many times that I've worked with a client where their ex starts seeing somebody and actually that relationship has shown them that you were the right person for them, that they made a mistake in leaving the relationship because it's always this mentality of like the grass is greener on the other side. But the reality of the situation is, is the grass is greener where you water it. So sometimes viewing that dating situation and that relationship as a positive is a great way to spin the perspective and keep your mindset strong and confident, right? Because again, Oftentimes, those relationships right after a breakup don't usually work out because that person hasn't really put in the work in regards to um, taking accountability, fixing the things that they need to fix, self-development, those types of things. So they're bound to repeat the same mistakes in that relationship as they did in this relationship as well. So if you are concerned that they may be saying somebody else, I understand. I get it. It's, it's a very valid concern, and it makes sense to me why you would be feeling that. But let's focus on other things that are more important. Let's focus on where you are at mentally and emotionally. Let's focus on why it is something that you are obsessing over or that you're hyper fixated on because that is probably connected to an insecurity that you have and we have to unpack that insecurity to make you the best version of yourself possible for you right? Sure, for the chances of getting that person back, yes, but the priority is doing it for you. Because let's say that relationship doesn't work out long term. You want to be the best version of yourself so you attract the right person. But at the end of the day, I know the goal is to get that person back. So following the steps the way that they need to be followed, implementing the strategy in the right way, and not deviating from that plan. Will there be slight modifications and edits and changes that have to be done along the way? Absolutely 100%. But worrying whether that person is seeing somebody else or not puts you in a position where you have no power anymore. You give all your control away and you do not want to do that. So if that is your concern, reach out. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about how we can change the the dynamics, how we can change your mindset so that it does not impact your chances of getting that person back. Um, and again, I know that that's easier said than done, which is why I'm saying coaching is an incredible way of being able to work through those issues. So if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you. Um, you can access a ton of the trainings that we have in regards to navigating a no contact period the correct way, how to rebuild your self-confidence. We have an incredible course, the neuroscience course um, after a breakup to get you in a position to really be able to re-attract your ex. There are so many resources that we can offer you. Please make sure you are taking advantage of that. Again, if you have not yet, make sure you are liking and subscribing so you get notified anytime we put out new content. And please make sure you leave a comment. Whether you agree, whether you disagree, any questions that you may have, um, your own personal experience, you know, at the end of the day, this community is built for you. So your uh, thoughts and your, your words and your experiences matter. Let us know. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.